Is your milk not frothing? There are a few common reasons for this. Firstly, the type of milk you are using plays a big part in how well it froths. Cold skimmed milk, or 2% milk, froth far better than whole milk. Fat has a destabilizing effect on foam. The more fat there is in the milk, the less air it can hold. If you're using cold whole milk, or half and half, it won't froth very well and will lose its volume much faster than lower fat milks. The second factor is the temperature. No milk will froth well when it is warm as opposed to hot. As you can see, the volume is much less and the bubbles pop rapidly so it loses its volume. However, if you heat any type of milk until it is hot, 140 degrees is recommended. The fat melts completely, so you have liquid fat, which actually helps to form the coating around the bubbles and yields excellent foam. So hot milk makes great foam with any type of milk, and cold milk makes great foam with low-fat milk, but will make unstable and weak foam with whole milk or half and half. The type of glass you use can play a part in the volume of froth produced. Using a wider glass will allow your milk to froth more, whereas using a skinny glass will yield a little less froth from the same amount of milk. You can froth all kinds of milk, and even make whipped cream by frothing heavy whipping cream for a few minutes. You can make a vast variety of delicious drinks using this milk frother, including classic lattes, cappuccinos, dalgona coffees, sweet cream cold brews, whipped brownie mochas, caramel macchiato, white chocolate mocha, matcha lattes, pumpkin spice lattes, honey oat milk latte, salted caramel mocha, blonde vanilla latte, and the list goes on, but you get the idea. Many of these recipes can be found on our YouTube channel. Happy frothing!